My name is Seamus Hubbard Flint. I'm 17 years old and I'm from St. Paul. I was raised around music. I have to admit here that my dad is a classical music critic, so I've grown up going to a lot of concerts. And also we have a Steinway piano. From a very early age, I was just smashing random stuff on this piano and calling it music, I guess. And by about age six, my parents forced me to start taking piano lessons simply because they wanted my talent to be more organized. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. I may have resisted it at the time, but deep in my heart, it put me on the right track of where I wanted to go. I really started composing before I knew how to play music. I started using software, and from there, whole pieces started to take off and to be formed. My composition teacher is Abby Bettinas at Concordia University. That's p taking PSEO at a small school like Concordia is really cool since Abby teaches college students, but I was able to become her student since I'm taking PSEO there. My piece is for string trio and tenor voice, and the title is If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking, with a question mark on the end. The question mark is important. The final line, I shall not live in vain. For most of the repeats of that line, I have an ascending figure, sort of implying a question. The, the question mark comes from the fact that I, I chose the Emily Dickinson poem because it was the shortest and the most open-ended. A lot of people upon reading, if I can stop one heart from breaking, might assume it to be expressing contentment. But if you look at the words themselves, there's nothing that explicitly says contentment is being expressed. It could also be expressing urgency or uncertainty or even regret. So I decided to play around with that. This is a sort of theme in variations. Mm -hmm. 